Hello guys, this is Salman from Technology and today I'll be showing you a tutorial on how to install the S5 uh, featured ROM on the Galaxy S4. Uh, now this will work on the Galaxy S4 GTI 9500 uh, which is the Exynos Octa Core version. Um, if you are using any other version apart from this then you will have to download the file specific to your phone. The files which I'm using for this tutorial will not work on any other version except this. So before we get started I would like to tell you that um, you need to first uh, have a rooted phone and uh, you need to have a custom recovery installed already on your phone. I have already done this so I'm not going to show you how to do that and I'm just going to start from the point where you have to download the file. Now this is called the Oscan ROM which you will find um, if you search it on uh, Google the first thing you'll find is uh, the one from XDA developers which should contain the file. You can go on the site and uh, you can download the ROM, the latest version of this ROM. There will be a zip file that uh, should come on your PC and uh, you can download this uh, zip file over here. Uh, version 5.2 Mediafire 1.15 GB file and you can just download it. There will be a zip file that appears on your PC and uh, you can follow these alternative links also which are available on this site you can download and copy it on your PC after you've done uh, after you've done uh, copying it on your PC uh, you will have to take the file and paste it anywhere in your phone I would recommend you create a new folder on your phone uh, and uh, you can just paste it there so it's easy to find from your phone after you've done uh, the copying process onto your phone you can just uh, move on to your phone so I'll move on to my phone and I'll show you uh, what are the steps required from there ok guys now that you have transferred the files from your PC to your phone I would request you to remove the data cable uh, that you have used for uh, transferring the file you're gonna have to power off the phone and uh, you have to press the volume up key the menu key and the power button simultaneously and you have to hold them until you get this screen that says Samsung Galaxy S4. You just hold them for 2 seconds and you just leave all the buttons. And you shall be taken into the recovery menu. Um, I'm using Team Win Recovery. You can use a bunch of other recoveries that are available too. After coming in the recovery, you're going to go to install. The first thing that you see on the top. You're going to select the place where you uh, have uh, copied the file from your PC and you're gonna click slide to reinstall so it shall be loading the files now it's flashing and loading the files as you can see Oscan ROM and still load loading the files so just be patient while it does that <coughs> takes a few miles uh, now it'll ask you to do the setup for the ROM so we're just going to click next at the bottom right sorry you're going to click next yes okay um it's going to ask us for a full wipe or no wipe so actually i've already done the wipe thingy so i'm going to go with no wipe but i would recommend if you're doing this for the first time i'll recommend you to go with the full wipe option next the next screen will give you uh, give you options to select which apps you would like to have by default on the phone you can select or unselect whatever apps you would like and uh, after you have done that you can click next which will take you to the next screen the next screen has a bunch of mods that uh, you can see here uh, you can enable like call button to connect uh, contacts list and all that stuff you know you have a bunch of option mods that you can do you can just choose from these bunch of mods you want the stock task manager or you want s5 task manager etc after you're done that you can click the next button and then it comes up with the loading screen again it'll take a few minutes to load after you load you you will see this new screen that appears it will say press install to begin installation you're gonna have to press the install button at the bottom right and it starts installing installing can take a few minutes 
and after installing you'll get this screen which says installation complete that means the installation is done you're good to go next you're gonna get a new screen that says reboot device uh, if it's unchecked please check the box and uh, click next and your device should be rebooted <coughs> After reboot, um, you can see this is the S5 ROM what we are doing the video on. It looks very much like the S5. You have the S5 menu. You have the notification panel from the Galaxy S5, which looks very much like the S5. Uh, you got a drop down uh, settings, quick settings. Lots of quick settings out there. You got ultra power savings that I'm just going to demonstrate now. And uh, as you can see, it turns your phone uh, black and white. I mean, it turns your screen black and white. So it helps save uh, power to a great extent. So you're going to get a lot more battery life when this is activated. Uh, however, you can only use a few applications while this is on. And the settings menu has also been briefed down to only a few settings. So as you can see, I cannot. Uh, I can only work on these few settings, not all the settings that were there on my phone before. <coughs> I'm just going to close this and uh, I'm going to show you the other features of the phone. You can see I can control the brightness and uh, other features from the notification panel as well. I'm going to show you the music player now. Um, just this is the music player from the Galaxy S5 as you can see very much like the S5 exactly like the S5 actually it has been ported on for the S4 so it looks really nice and works pretty well uh, I've noticed the this ROM works very well on the phone I've been using it for a while and not many bugs that I can speak of <coughs> Next, I'm going to show you the dialer. Uh, as you can see, this is the dialer which is from the Galaxy S5. You can dial your numbers and looks very much like the S5. Contacts section, you can scan through your contacts. You can go in the groups and all that stuff. The notification panel from the, I mean, the task manager from the Galaxy S5, as you can see. <coughs> And now we have the RAM management screen over here. You can clear your RAM, clear background apps, and do a bunch of other things. Again, you're back here with the uh, notification quick settings. Lots of quick settings here. You can just activate and deactivate whatever settings you want. This is the shortcut. Uh, thing you can modify it according to your likes <coughs> you can add a uh, add uh, shortcuts to the dot so when you press it you can easily access applications according to your likes Lastly, guys, uh, before I end this video, this is the uh, this is the lock screen that I would like to show you. You got the camera button on the top, which can take you directly into the camera, and uh, the rest of the video is all self-explanatory. So just watch it. Uh, before we end this video, I'd really like uh, to tell you guys uh, that thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial and if this helped you out, please do subscribe to our channel. If you have any doubts or queries, do uh, let us know in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them all. Um, thanks again and uh, peace.